This is the Bantima Market, a busy market center in the Ashanti regional capital, Kumasi. You can get anything from foodstuff, electronics, clothing, cosmetics, just name it. But one revelation you will not imagine to find here is Bariatia. She has a basin which she uses to carry load for a fee. I guess for now, you must know what she does. She is a head porter, popularly referred to as Kayayo. But that is not the most intriguing part. Baria is a final year student of the Gambaga College of Education in the Northern Region, training to become a teacher. Why she is here? Well, simple, but thought-provoking. To get money to pay her next semester's fees. When the admission came and I informed my mom about it, then my uncles disagreed with that because they said if my mom paid my admission and I became a teacher, I will use the money and be with my husband or I will send all the money to my husband's house. So th there was some kind of disagreement between my mother and their brothers and they were able to convince my mom not to pay their fees. Baria lives not so close to the Bantama market though. She lives at Aquitia Line in a very notorious area called Bombay. You would have to drop off on the way and walk in between buildings, jump a few gutters, navigate your way carefully through sawdust and swampy grounds and squeeze yourself to pass in between compound buildings before you finally get to her place of abode. Her wooden shack, you will call it, it's a small one with very little ventilation. She shares this place with 30 other young girls who have traveled down south in search of menial jobs. She shares the difficulties of her life. I have to go and see a lot of people to come and beg my mom. So my mom were not understanding. She didn't want to understand those I've gone to, to come and beg. So the only thing I could do is to threaten my mom by telling her that as I'm going back to write the Novdek, after the Novdek, I'm not coming back to the village. I'll remain in Tamil forever. It means that I have nobody again because she would have been the one who would support me in my education. Now that my uncles are able to convince her not to pay my fees and she's also in agreement, then when I go, it means I have nobody at the village. I'm not coming. But this then has not shortened Barrier's vision. She aspires to be a member of parliament for Gambaga Nalarugu one day to cause a change. Interestingly, her role model is the current local government minister and MP for the Gambaga Nalarugu constituency, Hajia Ali Mamahama. At my village, they don't encourage ladies in education because they see to it that ladies' education is nothing. And for that matter, they are only meant to marry or to go for a, to go a, their workers to be in the kitchen. So I want to discourage all those things. That's why I want to become an MP so that I'll change everything in my community. But Baria is not alone in this struggle. A friend of hers who has completed senior high school is also here as a head porter. She tells Ultimate News she is here to gather enough money to go back to school. Uh, as a, we are from North and you know the story, the situation is very bearable for us to take care of ourselves. I want to be a teacher because I did general as in essence. Help started trickling in after Barrier's story was aired on EIB platforms of Ultimate FM, Ebusia FM and Star FM. The help is a gesture to ignite a glowing future of Bariatia, who is defying all odds to educate herself.